I so I've actually never filmed here be filmed here before at this time, so I'm just trying it out. I have all the lights turned on right now. It's about um, 7 p.m. I just got home. Um, it's September 20th. Nope, September 19th, 2012. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It means I have badminton practice and it's garbage day today. So I didn't think I was going to vlog today because um, I've been here for just over a month now, so things are becoming are kind of falling into a regular pace. I'm totally lying, but it's kind of like I know what to expect. So I wasn't going to vlog today, but I felt like a lot happened. So number one big news. Um, so apparently, I a lot of the teachers at my school were, um, I would say, for my standards, questionable length dresses and skirts. And I guess because, and I usually wear like, I wore a bit longer dress and I usually wear like um, a cardigan or like kind of like this kind of cut dress. Um, today I wore kind of like a tank top like here, it was literally like this, the cardigan over and um, in my after school class the vice principal came in to observe me. I was really nervous because it was my first time where um, she came in to observe me teaching and I was really nervous because it's my after school class and it's only my second or third time teaching my after school class so I don't really, I'm not, they're not that comfortable with me yet so I kind of realized that when she gave me feedback it would be kind of um, constructive criticism or you know negative. So the first thing she told me, which is surprising, was that I need to cover up my chest more because this is too much, even though my co-workers show up this much skin. Um, but it's probably because in Korea, my boobs are considered big, but trust me, they're not big. Um, in Canada, I would say I'm flat chested. So yeah, I'm kind of surprised that my boobs are considered big here. Um, I'm, I'm, if you're curious, I'm a B cup, but I'm pretty sure I could wear an A cup if I really, really wanted to. Um, and then she also said that, um, well, okay, I was kind of upset about this one because she said the kids, I start the class by going around the world, so I show them, I make them like draw a, a flag of a country or visiting, and also have to spell the, the country's name. And then she left like right after that. So she said my feedback was that there is too much um, creative time and drawing time and not enough speaking time. But if she stayed for more than 10 minutes, she would see that the kids actually do start talking. I just have to, you know, lead my way up to it. And the reason she didn't stay was because um, the ki she could tell the kids felt uncomfortable with her being there. So I know, that was a catch me too. So I hope that was okay. Um, the second thing was I went to badminton practice. And as, as you guys probably know from my earlier videos, um, I joined the staff badminton team and we get a coach. And it's really exciting today because I honestly, for me, I just joined the badminton team because I thought it'd be a good way to um, start as a siren. There would be a good way to uh, set re report with my colleagues. Um, because I don't know the language. So I thought I joined it just for fun and you know I just want to go in and hit the birdie a few times and you know just have fun. But there's actually a coach that comes in and I was kind of frustrated at first because she makes me do all these drills and I'm like I'm not going to get any better. I'm just playing for fun. Um, oh, seems like a big siren. See in Korea when there's like a fire truck they have this huge announcement and then like five cars pass by. I'll see if I can try film it for you. Um, if they're turning this way. They are, okay, watch this. Can you see? So there's a street, there's one truck. Oh, sorry to disappoint, there's only two trucks today. So that wasn't very exciting, sorry. Um, yeah, so anyways, at badminton practice, um, the coach makes me do a bunch of drills and I'm just kind of annoyed because I didn't really get the point of it and like she didn't, I didn't know the language, so it's my fault. So I would keep trying to do stuff and I didn't think I was doing it right. And she's like, she's like, keep practicing, keep practicing. And then today, breakthrough, I actually did everything right. So um, next week, I'm actually going to try a new drill. Woo! So I'm actually up, um, approving. Oh, I think there's more trucks coming. Um, I'm just going to keep talking. And then also, I usually play with the same teachers because they're my same level. And they're kind of like, I think they kind of feel bad for me. So they play with me. But today, the better teachers actually invited me to play with them. So that was pretty fun. Um, and then after school, I was going to buy some fruit because I'm having my first housewarming tomorrow. Um, but I got distracted because I bought um, these little fishies. And they're like red bean paste fishies. I actually bought some I can show you. Um, and uh, they were six for three dollars. Like in Canada, they're like five for two. So that was amazing. I bought six. Because, well, I think I read it wrong. It said four thousand for free. So I gave her four thousand won. And she, I said, Anahaseyo. And I said, uh, Iga Sa. And then, or Iga C, uh, Iga Sam, and then I gave her 4,000 won, and I think she realized that I was a foreigner, so she gave me six. So that was pretty amazing for 4,000 won. 
So I got six fishies for 4,000 won. Um, and I didn't get any food because I was too distracted by those like, good fishies. So I'm probably going to go back tomorrow and uh, get them. And tomorrow I'll definitely do a video update because it's going to be an exciting one. So yeah, that's it for now. All right, bye.